without any of my help, <laughs> what the hell do you think I was doing all those years at uh, Wellman's and Rod Bell's and the beauty parlor and the diner? You think I was just earning enough money to go out and buy new hats? If it wasn't for me, the bank would have came and took this house a long time ago, Dan. Hey, I always pulled in more money than you brought in. Oh, yeah? Well, what about that year when your bike shop went broke? Oh, yeah, yeah, do it, Dan. You're going to show me. Oh, spread it on. Nothing in moderation, right? Oh, you got it, baby. Oh, yeah, not for the indestructible Dan Connor. Drinker, biker, party boy right from the 60s. If it feels good, do it. Or in your case, if it tastes good, eat it. Wash it, Roseanne. You know what you are, Dan? You are a big fat guy with absolutely no self-control. You're Jerry Garcia without the music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back up here. You're calling me fat? Yeah, I'm calling you fat. Well, if that ain't the big fat pot calling the kettle black. You better not be calling me fat. Well, that's what I'm doing. Fat, 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 fat. Well, fine, if you don't want the food I make, then we'll Okay, and you know what? We don't need any more of this health food either. I'm going to watch TV. Oh, of course you are, Dan, because that's what you always do when anything gets too damn real around here. I do not do that. Yes, you do. You run to that TV and walk away from me every single time there's a problem in this family. Why the hell shouldn't I walk away? You never let me do squat around here. Problem with the kids? Hey, you'll handle it because I'd sure as hell just screw it up. I watch these kids grow up around here without ever knowing what was going on or even who they were. And just look at the way they turned out. I think they turned out great. Oh, please, Roseanne, look at them. They're not exactly the Kennedy kids. <laughs> no, they're not, but their dad sure drinks like Uncle Teddy. They're failures, Roseanne, and the only reason you won't admit it is because you'll have to admit you failed as a mother. The only way I failed as a mother is to let Becky and Darlene get married so young that they threw their whole life away on a man, just like I did. You didn't throw away a thing. Yes, I did, Dan. I threw everything away. But all that's going to change, because from now on, I'm going to put all my energy into that TV show. That's fine. That's just great. I'm going to show my daughters that you don't have to give up your dreams for some stupid guy. That's fine. Well, you just moved to Chicago for all I care. Then maybe your damn family won't be hanging around here all the time. Give me some room for my family to come. Hell, they can't even show up for Thanksgiving anymore. Oh, so that's it, huh? It's my fault that you don't have any kind of relationship with your family. God, you are pathetic. Did I ever stop you from picking up that phone and calling your mother? Hey. At least I put my mother in a psychiatric hospital where she can get some help instead of letting her run around the streets like you're scaring people. <laughs> well, my mother might be like uh, fingernails on a chalkboard, Dan, but at least she's allowed to grow fingernails. <laughs> well, that's perfect. You got an answer for everything, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, why don't you tell me how to clean up this crap that you call decoration? Okay, I will. <laughs> I want you to pick them all up using your ass and start with the pointy things. <laughs> You're controlling. No, I'm not, Dan. I am just trying to do whatever it takes to get you to get up off of your ass and stop staring at that TV. Boy, I tell you, I wish I had never been. What? Say it. Nothing. Well, that makes two of us. You can die if you want to, Dan, but you're going to have to do it alone because I'm not going to sit here and watch you. I'll be at Jackie's. <laughs>